everybody. Um, it's me. Uh, I got happy mail to show you. And um, I wanted to get, I've been holding on to some because I was waiting for something else to come in and it finally came in so I can do it all together now. So please forgive me if, the, if yours is one of the ones that I had to hold off on. Um, I just wanted to be able to do it all at once. Okay, and some of them I've opened but I didn't take them out of the package. The other, there's some that just came today that I did not even open yet. So you get to watch me open those. So, this one's from Suzanne Cords. She uh, was participating in a, a swap with me. Um, and it was napkins and napkin tags. And this is what she sent me in this beautiful envelope. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. So here's the first napkin, which I absolutely love, and that's going to go with something I got today in a haul. Um, oh, this is beautiful. Look at all the vibrant colors on that. Isn't that pretty? And it's all over. That is gorgeous. Oh, and I got a little ATC card. It says sometimes it is more important to discover what one cannot do than what one can do by Lin Yutang. Isn't that cute? Oh, and she sent me some die cuts. How fabulous. Oh, and they're like glued together like embellishments. Those are fabulous. Thank you so much. And she sent me, oh, it's an envelope. It looks like it's been tea dyed or coffee, coffee dyed, coffee stained. And it's got the, that beautiful butterfly. And it's so ancient. And it looks like she sewed right across the top added some lace. Suzanne, that is beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And this one came from our lovely Emily. <clears throat> okay, let's set that one aside. Oh, look at the end. Look at the napkin. Look how pretty that is. And it's one of those all over napkins, too. I love that. Oops. And then the beautiful lavender. Let me see something. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, thank you, Emily. They're beautiful, and I love these colors. Look at those. It is so pretty. And this one. Ooh, with the flowers and the... I can't tell if that's a finch or a robin. But it's a pretty bird anyway. Isn't that pretty? Thank you, Emily. These are beautiful. And Paris napkin with the Eiffel Tower. I love these bold colors. I do. Oh, and then she sent me an Easter Bunny one in a basket. That is so cute. And the background, if you can't see very well, is really faint pink polka dots. Okay, and then these are her three napkin tags that she made for me. 
Live every day with intention. Look how pretty that is. I love that. This one says, do all things with love. That is beautiful. Oh, it's the little things that make life big. Look at that one. She says she has gotten mine, but I haven't, I couldn't find the video. She said she did it in a live stream. And I checked and I couldn't find it. So hopefully she liked mine. <laughs> but thank you, Emily, so much. Those are so beautiful. And this lovely envelope. You see that? Came from Carrie Thomas. Is it Carrie or Carrie Ann? Which would you prefer? So most people don't write their middle names unless it's part of their, their name. But you put one heck of a lot of stamps on this woman. But, yeah. So... I opened this one on the side, and this is when I decided, okay, I'm not going to take anything else out. I'm just going to do it all at one time. Okay. So. Okay. Here, let me put all of this in here so I can put it all in the same spot when I'm done. I can hang my tags up and put my napkins away in the same place. And, well, the one box that I keep all my napkins in. Let's do the napkins first. Oh, what a beautiful card. Aww. It says, hi Kelly, what's shaking? So glad we got to be partners. My first time doing this. I only started the first of the year. I hope you like them. Keep smiling, keep crafting. Your craft friend, Carrie Ann. So I guess it is Carrie Ann. That's beautiful. I love that card. That is going to get pinned to my friendship wall. Uh, i got to find another pin. There we go. Okay. I'll have to show you my you guys my friendship wall sometime. Ow. Okay. That's pinned up there, and now I can see it every day. Let's do the napkins. Oh, look at the animals. The kitty cats and the puppy dogs with the glasses. Those are so cute. Oh, I love that. <gasps> Paris. In the spring. Look at that. I think that's the first time I've seen a pink Eiffel Tower, though. <laughs> I think it's awesome. That is gorgeous. Oh, an Easter bunny with the butterflies. That is so cute. Ooh, and the black and white paisley. That's beautiful. That would make a fabulous background, too. Yeah. Oh, look at the... Oh, I love this. Is this bohemian style? That is beautiful. Thank you. And then the pink polka dots and the zebra stripes. This this one napkin makes me think of pink poodle pink poodle crafts. I don't know, maybe because I just I love Stacy. She's my mentor and I taught her everything she knows. <laughs> don't tell her I said that. I'm just kidding. Oh how beautiful. This one says, friends are like flowers. You see that? And the eyelash trim. I like simplicity. I know, it, Carrie Ann, if you're watching this, you're thinking I didn't do enough. No, it's beautiful. I like the simplicity and the elegance. It's called understated elegance. And I love, I love this, just as it is. And this one as well. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Mm. 
And I love this little pom-pom trim. I know there's probably a more specific name for it, but... And then she actually put some feathers right here. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. To go with the bird, which is very, very clever. I love that. Oh, look. Look how beautiful. Carrie Ann, you did a fabulous job. Oh, and she went way above and beyond the little ones. That's so awesome. That is so awesome. I love these little bits. Look at that with the bow. And just a piece of lace across it. And some little flowers with some gems at the bottom. As their, um, their middle. That is really pretty. Oh, and here's another one with the bow. I never thought to tie just a bow. I always thought you had to leave them hanging. But that is a fabulous idea. Look how pretty that is with the feathers and the, and the layered flower. Look at that. Oh, she sent me some itty bitty ones. Oh, I loved this. Look at that. Let's see if I can get it closer to you guys. Focus. Please focus. It's gorgeous. It, it'll focus if I put my hand behind it for some reason. Closer, maybe? Not so close. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Look how pretty. Oh, and I love this eyelash trim. And she tied. Oh. Okay, this one I think has got to be my favorite one. Look how precious and simple. I love that. I do. I really do. Part of the reason I don't care for... Um, I mean, I like it. It's beautiful. I don't care for the shabby chic style is because it's so overdone. I think there's too much lace and too much fabric and too much of everything. I think shabby chic done in a minimalistic style is gorgeous. And this is absolute. My dad is going to love this. I'm going to have to hide these because he'll probably steal them from me. Excuse me, I had to get a breath. But thank you so much, Carrie Ann. These are are wonderful. I I am I'm at a loss. Set those aside. Okay, now for the two that came today. They came all the way from Canada. From my poodle sister and my coffee cup craft sister and Oh, I love this woman to death. Okay. We sit, we talk. We try to talk once a week. I don't think we've gotten to talk this week yet. No, we did. When she was helping me with ideas, when I finished um, embellishing the hat, we were going to put this piece above the goggles, but I thought, it, I kind of got the idea. It was I just felt it was too much. So I put it right here, and I added an extra... Um, something something that she'd sent me a message our phone call got cut off because um um we had a storm hold hold one second yes two um because one of them i, I want to make a good size meatloaf one that we can have sandwiches with afterwards okay so the other one leave whole well maybe take off one pound not a pound and a half, and I'll just use the two pounds for the meatloaf. Sorry about that. There's a certain way I make my meatloaf, and ever since I made it this way, um, I won't make it any other way, and it's fabulous. And it's the only way I'll eat meatloaf now. But we were going to put this above the goggles. I just thought it was a bit too much. 
So instead, I'm sorry, Angela. Um, I put some uh, some gears there instead, but you can see the clock mechanism in the background behind it. But this is the total finish of my steampunk top hat. Unless I get froggy and decide to add something else, you know, maybe because I don't like this, or maybe I'll add another strip of something that looks industrial. I don't know. But as far as it goes, this... Oh, I did add this, Angela, if you're watching. I hope you are. Um, I did add a steampunk butterfly. Okay, you're not going to be able to see that. Doink. Where did it go? Okay, yeah, this steampunk butterfly. And I used a gear for the head. Let's see if you can see that. It curled up when I painted it, but... And I just kind of glued it to one of the feathers, one of the goose feathers that I had. And it's just kind of peeking out there. But yeah, this is my steampunk hat. All right. Now, Angela is the only one who knows my secret and what my project is going to be. So she's been helping me out immensely. She's She absolutely loves steampunk. And so we were talking one night, and I sent her some stuff because she doesn't have a printer. So I printed off all my graphics, and I sent it to her. She has a video on, on opening that. And, uh, and then she said she was going to send me some stuff that will help with mine. Um, but look at this envelope with all the, the owls on it. I love this. And I can't tell if it's paper or what. It's got this really awesome texture to it. Yeah, but it came from Angela Rossetti. Oh, I love it. I don't want to open it. <laughs> I do want to open it, but I don't want to mess it up. So let's I'll see if I can't cut through the tape as opposed to the paper. Oh, it happened. It worked. Yay, it worked. I didn't mess up any of the paper. Okay. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Oh, look at the beautiful tissue paper. Okay, I think that's it in there. Oh, but I love this envelope. Okay, let's stick this over here. Okay. Now, Angela, what did you send me? A little lighthouse washi tape. I've never seen that one. If you can see it closer. There it goes. I like that. I'll set that on my washi tape holder. Oh, well, I guess I'll just put it right there for now. Oh, and it looks like it was, um, like for a carnival. Oops. Look how pretty that is. So it looks like it might have been one stretch. Yep, and it's fitting right together, so... And I'll open this one. Now, Angela has been my go-to person for all things steampunk related. And she has given me so many fabulous ideas. Okay. So here's the opening. I love this tissue paper, Angela. Oh, look how beautiful. It's like a, one of those glassine envelopes. She put some... Oh. And it's got stuff inside. I love this, Angela. Oh, how clever. Wrapping it up in a, in a baby wipe that's been... Oh, woman. She punched or cut this out of a soda can, pop can. And that's her work, her art. 
and that's a steampunk woman. That is beautiful. It looks so much better in person, Angela. It is gorgeous. Your talent amazes me like nobody's business. That is absolutely phenomenal. Dad's going to have so much fun looking at this too. Usually I open it with him, but because I wanted to do this online and I had to move all my craft stuff in my bedroom, he has to wait now. Haha. <laughs> Oh, did you stamp? You stamped me some stuff. Look how beautiful. On some tracing paper. That is beautiful, Angela. Whoop. Oh, and she did another page. with the clock. Oh, I love this. Live the life you've imagined. I love that. To be all that is possible, we must attempt the impossible. To be all that we can be, we must dream of being more. I love that. Oh, man. Oh! And more! Look at this. Oh, wait, where is it? There it is. She, she stamped all of this for me. Oh, and she stamped the picture of her, uh, the lady she made out of the, the soda can. And the light bulbs, and a lock, and a key, and feathers, and a cute little owl. Oh. Oh my gosh, thank you. And she stamped it on cardstock too. Oh, look at that. Look at all of this. Oh my gosh. Those are awesome. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> I asked her to send me some of her junk mail because it comes in French. And she did. See? Let me open a page. You'll probably see it better. Find a page that's all French. Because I can read it, I just can't speak it very well. You see that? Oops. I love the language. Sometimes I wish I was born in, uh, not so much France, but, you know, like in Quebec, and be, I would be a, what do you call it, a Quebecois? I don't know, she sent me some more. With French lettering. That is so cool. Let's see. And some ad papers. Wow, two bedroom apartments for fifteen twenty-five? That's a lot. <laughs> but it's all in French. Environment. Nonprofit organization. Yeah, that is so cool. That is so awesome, woman. Lilian de Saint Pierre. He's the new president. Wow. I'm going to 
the neighborhood of the future. That is so cool. Oh, I got a text from my sister. But yeah, and then some more. Angela, that is so awesome. Thank you so much. I know, I've got one more to open. But these things you stamped out for me are flipping fabulous. I love this envelope. Oh my gosh. I have the perfect place I'm going to put this. Yes, I do. And I'll show you the results when uh, when I get it put there. I know exactly what I want to do with that. And the tissue paper. I love tissue paper. Okay. Angela, thank you for that so much, girl. You've got my heart. Just do 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 do. Okay. And now this is... I got two packages from Angela. And look at this envelope. Look at that. In the back. Look how beautiful that is. Can you see that? All the flowers. And customs. Oh, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't rip it. Don't rip it. Don't rip it. Don't. Whoa. Okay. Now I continue. Don't rip it. Don't rip it. Okay. It's covered up with something else. On where my scissors go. And I will cut that off. I am really trying hard to save these envelopes. <laughs> these are gorgeous. Selena Raider, I believe it was Selena. Um, I'll have to check to make sure. That had sent me um, for Halloween a little Happy Mail, and it was beautiful. The envelope that she stamped was all. Um, Uh, um, she had sprayed it, she had stamped it, and it ended up going into my very first um, Halloween journal as the center, the centerfold. That's what it is. Because it was so beautiful. I'm so glad this didn't rip the envelopes. I'm so glad. Oh, trash is over here. See, I'm still trying to get used to this. All right, and this should come right off, and it did. Yay! Oh, I got so—I don't know how I got so lucky. Okay, this one wants to be a little pain in the butt, but we'll leave that be for now. Okay, now let's see if I can get it without ripping it this away. I know this is this is horrible. It's like watching somebody open a present that just wants to take and keep, but you don't you don't realize how fabulous these envelopes are. Oh my gosh! It almost feels like she did napkins over them. Is that what she did, girl? You gotta tell me your secret because we don't have envelopes like these in the states. At least not that I've seen. Okay. All right. No more waiting. No more waiting. Let's get this open. I said I really don't want to mess up her, this envelope. Oh, that one's going to a little bit. Ow! <laughs> okay. At least it was the yellow ripping and not the envelope itself. Okay. Oh. Oh, awesome. She sent me typewriter keys. And some little doodads for steampunk. That's what I can add to the brim. I'll put the typewriter keys around it. That would be so cool. Ah, Angela, you just texted me. That's so funny. Okay, hold on a minute. I'm fixing to tell you something that you're going to hear anyway.
That is so funny. I'm doing a video on it now. So when you watch the video, you'll see me talking to you on my text to talk. So if you want any more information, you're going to have to wait for the video. Ha 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 ha. I love you, sister. This is perfect. Okay. That was her actually making sure it came. So now when you're watching this, Angela. Ah, I got it. Thank you. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to, I'll paint, I'll grunge these up, and then I'll put them around the band of the, uh, the hat. That'll help. Oh, some more. Oh, it's a circuit board and some gears. And a motherboard from, oh, okay, let me get this out of here. Okay, look at this. You see that? And look at all these goodies with the wires and the and the circuit board. Oh, I love it. Look at that. That'll go perfect for that one part towards the end, Angela. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll have to wait until we talk again. But she sent me these little gears. They're plastic, but they're they're so adorable. Look. Here we go. Let's see. And there's a connector. And some more little gears in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, this envelope is being snar snarky. And she sent me wires. Oh, uh oh. Aw, oh, I love you too, sis. Okay, so I'm going to set that right there for a minute. Let's see what else is in this wonderful package. She sent me textures. Oh, girl, you are the bomb. I didn't have any. Look at that. It's like a weave. You see that? And it's like this hard nylon. That is fabulous. This is going to have, I'm going to have so much fun with this on my jelly plate. Oh, yeah. I cannot wait. I don't know if you were there, Angela, or not, but in uh, Epiphany Craft Studios, they were doing a giveaway. Either some of the beads that Carrie was making or the 12 by 12 jelly plate that normally PJ makes, but Carrie makes them sometimes. And I won the 12 by 12 jelly plate. I was so happy. I was looking online and they're like 50 bucks a piece. My like, crap, and that was a good price. But this is beautiful. Thank you. And more text. Oh, look. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Do you see the texture? Oops. I'm so sorry. Do you see the texture on this? I don't know if you can. There you go. It almost feels like it's a... Uh, uh, Oh, like the hide of a bear, or, um, it doesn't quite look like tree, uh, or like the fur on a dog, you know what I mean? I, that's just, that is fabulous. I love that texture. And she gave me some of this. Now, in here, I see a lollipop. Okay, obviously, I can't eat it. But, 
that would make some cool I wonder if I could add that to the that would look cool with my final project Angela what do you think with everything being steampunky and then this being the one thing that just sticks out that would be awesome oh and look some more texture looks like an octopus tentacle yeah usually my texture consists of um, let's see the end of my paintbrush and going wiggle 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 in the in the jelly plate or I've got some cement tape I use or I just use my die cuts so I can paint them and make some great papers oh awesome this is like bendable plastic but it's got all these ribs in them can you hear that that is so cool and it's still got ribs on the back but they're not as deep I'm loving all these texture things oh and look at that it's that honeycomb it's like a silicone um, heating pad uh, not heating pad a hot pad a trivet and it's got that honeycomb pattern oh my gosh Oh, and this one's got the diagonal, and it's also ridged. That is so cool. And she's not done. Let's pull these out. Oh, that's cool. Wow, that is so stiff. Piece of screen. But it doesn't feel like the metal screens you would have at your windows. I'm not sure what this would have come from. But it's it's really it's really tough. And then some itty bitty dots, but I love the colors. Look at that. Oh wait, you're only seeing one color on that side. This side has got the other colors. That is awesome. Oh, check this out. And it's it's like foam. It's like a really stiff craft foam. But it's got these beautiful um let's see what they're not octagons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hexagons. Hex is six, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, they are octagons. Seven, eight, yeah. So, Octi means eight. Look how beautiful that is. I'm going to have so much fun on my jelly plate. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Thank you so much, Angela. And thank you, Carrie Ann and Emily and Suzanne for your beautiful, your beautiful gifts. And before we go, I went to this discount place today. I'm just going to close that up. It's going to stay closed up anyways. Okay. But I'm going to sit that over here for just a minute. And it was, um, let's see, the books were a dollar a piece. Or if you got five of them, it was $4. So I went ahead and looked until I found five that I liked. And actually, I only found four. But I got two of the same one. And you'll see what I mean in just a minute. Alrighty, the two that I got were the, that were the same were calendars for 2017. Now, honestly, they shouldn't have even charged a dollar, but they did. But it's called Earth's wait, Earth Space. Okay, photography from the archives of NASA. Now immediately I flipped it over and look at those pictures aren't they beautiful 
they would make stunning backgrounds they would make stunning oh everything okay so I'd gotten two of those because I just hey I needed to round it up to five so I grabbed a second calendar and then I found I know this might not seem much but some of the pictures in here are great this is digital expressions creating digital art with Adobe Photoshop elements okay it says it includes a CD but there's no CD in it that's no big deal but some of the pictures in here I flipped through it look at that isn't that gorgeous you know so I just I flipped through and look at those look at the little girl oh, look at that one I love that one we are trying to keep the glare off with the pumpkins and that one somebody spray painted and says stop being afraid I love that you know so and then this one check this one out I just there were so many neat images in here that I thought would look awesome on a canvas or in a journal um, and I think this is going to be one of those like that one look at that look how pretty that is let's see if I can get you all with the eyes peeking in um, I'll probably copy them because I really do want to get Adobe uh, Photoshop and Elements oh oh the raven if any of you guys know me, you know I love Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven. Look at that. And it's in purples and blacks and shades of gray. That is beautiful. So anyways, I got five bucks for four dollars. And they were pretty interesting. Like, check that one out. Isn't that one, let me see, fabulous? There's a bird pecking on his on his head. It's not focusing that well. But so yeah, so I got that. And I'll probably copy a lot of the pages instead of ripping them out of this. Let me see what year is this. Um, do, 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 do. 2010 well I might have to get a more of an upgrade but then they had this old book that has been beat up looks like it's called milk and honey it's a New York Times uh, best speller best speller best seller but inside are little poems and diagrams and um, It just interesting little maybe haikus or little poems and things like that like this one says you look like you smell of honey and no pain let me have a taste of that that is just so interesting to me let's see the breaking more than anything I want to save you from myself So yeah, so I got that anyway. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and the last one. I couldn't believe I found it here. Look how old this book is. Copyright was 1952. Okay, but it's Amy Vanderbilt's complete book of etiquette. Look at the pages in this. They've got that aged texture. The pages are fabulous. And everything. Oh, check out this bag of goodies that um, 
Angela sent. Oh, okay. Look, she even sent me a a circuit board, a bunch of wires and some gears, and I figured that's a transistor, right? Something like that. Transistor, transducer. Trans transistor. Transvestite. I don't know. Hey, you can't say stuff like that on here. Somebody might get mad. Oh, wait. Is there something else in here? No. It's just part of the thing. Just your finger. Yep, just my finger. And I'm going to let it go on that. Dad says lunch is ready, and I am umby. So, that's what my grandson used to say. He'd say, Papa, I'm umby. I'm umby. So, on that note, thank you, ladies, so very much for um, your wonderful gifts. Angela, you rock, girl. You know it. My love to everybody. Mwah. And don't forget. Find humor in everything. Or your life will be boring. And always, 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 always feel free to art yourself silly. Bye, guys. See you soon.